This slide is the trachea at low power. The tip of the pointer is on the epithelial layer of the trachea. This is actually a layer of stratified columnar cells, but you can't really tell that these, um, this epithelial layer is many layers of columnar cells on low power. We will now move to um, the same slide on high power so that we'll be able to see. We are now looking at the trachea on high power. The lumen is to the left, the clear area. The tip of the pointer is on stratified columnar cells. Um, you can see many layers of cells. The most mature cells where the tip of the pointer actually is directed um, are clearly columnar in shape. You can see a row of nuclei in the basal region of the cell and uh, pink cytoplasm in the apical region of the cell near the lumen. Just left of the apical uh, region or the cytoplasmic region of the columnar cell, we can see a row of cilia. Um, the cilia are visible, um, just a little ha haze almost, a fringe on this uh, layer. Here the very tip of the pointer is on the cilia uh, of this uh, stratified columnar epithelium of the trachea. This layer of stratified columnar cells extends from about here back toward the lumen on the left. In this region, we see the most mature cells, obviously columnar, and we see more immature cells in this region. The basement lamina underlies the uh, stratified columnar tissue right about at the region of the uh, tip of the pointer. The basement lamina separates the epithelium from underlying tissue, which has a different appearance. The tip of the pointer here is about where the more mature cells are and um, directly left of the mature cells on, on the apical surface of the mature cells are the um, cilia with the lumen to the left. Stratified columnar epithelium.